Okay, you should be able to hear me. I've been talking. Dude, it's weird. They update, they update the freaking OBS or something, and then all of a sudden my audio drivers are all effed up. All right, there we go. We're back. That, 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 that's a really good point, Treasure Guard. I think you're right, actually. So... Let's go. Oh yeah, I did not see the new pally cards. Give your next sumo hand recruit. You summon plus three, plus three, and this death rattle. Oh, that's effing insane. Wait, what? Like, if they don't have silence, that's infinite plus, like, that's so freaking good. Wait, how do you stop that if you don't run silence? I mean, I know everyone's running starfish, but still. All right, chat. I like that we're queuing all priests. Wait, hopefully we're another boar priest, right? You don't even need to run that in quest paladin. You just run that in any paladin, and it's bonkers. Like, watch people not even run it in quest because quest still sucks. Oh, this is bad, and they got this guy. Everyone's fish now. Oh god, I'm gonna get effed. This is bad. This is very bad chat. Okay. Dude, you, I mean, you get radiant elemental, then you then you lose. <laughs> Just kind of how it works. Uh, I probably go aquatic form next turn and see if I can hire old starfish or like maybe park panther to get a kill, but. Park Panther kill this? No, it doesn't, but it kills both of these, so it'd still be insane here. Okay. Ooh, do I take the Park Panther? Yeah, it's too good of a play not to do, right? It's literally what I wanted. There's a large radiant, but they used one of their Shadow or Devourers, so this is very annoying for them. So that's good. See if they trade or if they go face here. Both aren't that bad for us. As long as they don't have Shadow or Devourer number two. Yep, they're trade. Ooh, we hit the Guffy Boy. All right, I think we take Guffy Boy here. Or um, this allows us to go big ex merchant play next turn. I mean, we like our hands really good. Ooh, ooh! All we have to do is ramp to this bad boy. We probably win. The queen's troll is forbidden. All right. Let's see if they have lethal next turn. They get another one of these bad boys. Oh, that's so bad. All right, um, I can try and uh, this is an interesting situation of oh Now that I hit that nourish there, which is actually very lucky. I can go moonlit guidance and try to hit um, That's never alignment, right? So let's take aquatic see if we can hit uh... I'll take Drew the reef here Do I go second aquatic? I think I do Let's go. 
Let's freaking go, dude! Look at the witness, the skill chat. Witness, skill. The problem with this play is, um... But the problem with this play is I can't go Neptune next turn, but I did stop a lot of tempo there, so... Alright. Uh, top deck innervate, we win the game. We can still die, oh absolutely. I mean they just buff up this guy and go bless. If I hit man. Getting uh, an innervate would be so huge here. Did not. Ooh, I think we do the Miracle Growth play. So I can go Miracle Growth first. It allows me to hit innervate and gain armor. I don't know if I want to, though. Uh, I'm going to risk it because it's just like when we don't hit, we're so sad that we didn't get the hero power in, you know? Okay. So they need like a silence here, I think, to get lethal. Like, if they have, like, another Radiant Elemental and a full pop-off, we probably die, but... They don't have the S-tier hand. We've got Napoli tuned down for next turn, which is nice. Oh, yeah, Najak wins as well. I'm sad you weren't a master church. I didn't do that well. Oof, damn. Damn, that's bad. Well, um, we're probably losing. Should we have an out, kind of? Alright, one, two, three. I could do one. I could play. The amalgam here into spammy. I get the nine nine back. That seems pretty good. One, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So it even does a lot of damage to the other guy. Hmm. I think I prefer that to tree. We also get a tray expired. And then our guys take less damage, but I think this is better. Could hit another uh, starfish here too. Ooh, I think I play the mana saber here. That looks real nice for next turn. Ah, no, I want to get the earth and scales down. But I think I could still take the mana saber. Actually, mana uh, dire wolf with the the this is probably the best here. One, two, three, four, five. I think this looks easy. Winnable? What went wrong in the Master Tour? I mean, nothing. I liked variants, and um, I played like good, but like I had, I had, uh, I had, a, I just wasn't, I wasn't at hundred percent. I was at like I did well, but it just like you know, you need to be absolutely like to, to make a top eight. You need to be absolutely on top of your game and get lucky. Um, you need to have like be like top twenty, like top ten legend ready with all your decks. And have a good lineup and be a great player. So, and get lucky. It's tough. I think we're going to win this. I kind of want to... 
Go line bit, but I think getting Neple tuned down is better here. I mean, actually, is alignment even good at this point in the game? I'm not even really sure. Yeah, it's pretty good. How do you deal with that? Like, it's over. Yeah, that was pretty good. Have you won an MT before? Nope, uh, I never have. Um, I've made top eight once. That's what got me into GM. Went two to three against Mr. Blyze. Uh, it was, uh, he, he probably barely remembers it, but I remember it because it was a very, it's a bigger deal for me than for him because he's gotten like so many top 16. So yeah, it was a very good series in my opinion, but uh, I, I played the, I wasn't as good of a good player as Highlander Mage, and I got Oath Reverse swept with it. I played Priest and Druid insanely well, I thought, but I made some mistakes. Uh, I think in the, the especially the Mage versus Rogue game that cost me the game. Um, and then I got unlucky in the mirror. Pick me, pick me. I mean, I, I can just I don't know. It's. Hmm. Do I have Anaconda in my hand? No. Okay. Wait, do I have Lethal ever here? No. Wait, does this guy get to attack face twice? Or his hands at the... They attack instead, okay. So... Um, what do I do here? Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what I want to do here. I don't know. I really didn't know what I want to do, but like anything is probably winning here. So alignment might have been probably was probably the best play. I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to do there. My I get through this. Fuck. I can get screwed here. Oh no! I walked into this. Obviously, go bless here. Uh, I threw this game. I threw this game. All I had to do was go alignment, and it was over. <sighs> yeah, this is just a fucking throw. Nothing but a throw. I mean, actually, we still probably win. We still probably... Okay, chat, we still win, because I just go uh, do this. Um... Humble sea to heavenly star. It is finished. You win. All right. That's like supposed to be a free matchup for them, and we still won. Nothing but a throw. Exactly, Makai. Ex extended BM, yeah, yeah, yeah.
Dude, Habu's killing it so hard right now. Like, what? Lately? Uh, it's already over? Dang. And dude, Dravo. Dravo made top 16. That's huge. Bring victory. I must protect the wild. Mm. Ooh, that'll be good. Yeah. It's ah. I'm not feeling as motivated on like the competitive side of Hearthstone. I still, I'm very motivated as like a streamer, but I haven't felt very motivated as like, I just don't like, like look at, you know, see like, oh, if I win a tournament, like it'll be so cool. Like I, it just isn't, oh, this is interesting. Nourish is huge, but aquatic, I, I think I take the aquatic actually. I think it's actually a little bit better here. Cause we can, oh. Problem is this one might be there's a fifty percent chance it's that one, so then okay. Oh it looks like it pulled that one. Hmm. Pull Kazakas on meta. Thank you, Abductor. This is smothering starfish valuable in the mirror or against rogue. Like what does smothering starfish do against rogue? Not that much, right? Like I don't feel like it's that valuable. I think I should tempo it here so I can have minions on board. All right, we'll see if I'm wrong. Well, that's why I should have saved it. <laughs> All right, um, this is interesting. I guess I can spam me this down eventually. So maybe I just do this. I think I'm gonna go aquatic next turn. I could have gone it this turn, but. Hmm. I take a uh, frost saber. I've already played two beasts. This feels shitty, this feels shitty. I guess I can use this next turn if I want. This might be cheap eventually, so. But this is boat or stash rogue, yeah. <laughs> it's for astronomy class. <laughs> Dude. A Velk producing animals. I, I don't know. That's a very good question, uh, Hanson Noodle. And if I knew that answer to that question, I would probably be number one legend right now. So, um, I, I you know, it's, a, it's something we should all be paying attention to, I'd say, for sure. Mm. So I could take the innervate and then I can do this and this this turn. I kind of like that. <laughs> expose themselves. <laughs> Seed <run. laughs> um, did did I, I attract weird people? It just is what it is. 
Dude, really, like, I feel like I'm, like, a basic repellent. Like, basic people just can't, just, like, they can't, uh, they just sort of, like, die inside. But, like, they, they just freak out around me. Like, they can't deal with it. So then this this whole stream, because it's, like, a feedback loop, you know? People are just kind of, like, they get, uh, yeah. Can I draw an alignment or something? That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, of Doctor. I see. I see your point of view. That being said, there's not, nothing weird about being a part of a sex cult. I just got. I just gotta say that, you know. Nothing weird. Nothing shameful. Super, super normal and natural. All right. Did I, I mean I think everyone will be doing it soon. Yeah, if you, if you get the guff, you can... Hey, Naga Mage was a problem. Source, hey, trust me, bro. This kind of wrecks me, doesn't it? Ooh. I guess I go alignment here and pray. So, spammy doesn't quite do it here, right? Ooh, next turn I can go ramp Alex Straza spammy. Oh, that's actually so good. All right. Ooh, and I can play this bad boy. Okay. All right, chat. Well, we can go double ramp. Okay, so we can go Moonlit Guidance after we ramp. Let me go Alex Straws on this guy. Then we go Spammy. We don't clear this, but we get some good clears. So we can go ramp and try and hit uh, Anaconda. And if we hit Anaconda, we probably have an easy win here. Gotta be, I gotta be ready to go fast here. Fuck, chat. This is not what I wanted. I guess I take this card, even though it's kind of worthless here. Yeah. This is bad. So I still have a clearing play, but it's not very good. Wait, I'm at nine, five life here, right? Am I a dead? Pl am I a dead? No hands here. I have the taunt. In theory, not dead. In practice, dead. Uh. So they have like the worst hand ever. Maybe we win this. It's got to be pretty S tier bad, but. Let's muddy the waters. Ah, chat, they, 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 they went for it. Ah, uh, rough. I can see. Rough out there. Rough out there for the No Hands fans. All right. They didn't have it. I mean, so we dodged, like they had like a 95% chance of just having lethal in hand, Mr. Handsome Noodle. <laughs> but the fact that they played the one mana spell means we were in the 5% chance where they didn't. But then they hit the like the 30% the, 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 the chance that the, they, they still got it. So, so it even means, yeah.
Oh, chat. We have. All right. Well, we got we got the good cards, so we just need to hit a little bit of ramp. We got this raid negotiator. Okay. Which is like a. I, I hope I get nourish card. At least half the big head jackpot. I mean, some of them are like twisting nether. So I'd say maybe like, I'd say like 30%. I mean, there's a lot of things like get a bunch of, uh, you know. Where are some decks that are good on ladder right now? Um, it's pretty much what was good on ladder before. And like, so, okay. Um, Murloc Shaman's crushing it. Like, okay, let's see it at the high le high ranks. Wow, Murloc Shaman is crushing it. That's weird. Oh, it's just probably preying on the weak decks. But so let, the deck we're playing is actually doing really well. Uh, I think Big Spell Mage and Rogue is really good. Um, all right, we got a good hand. Wait, they were a rogue the whole time, chat? What is this nonsense? Mm, I don't really like Park Panther here. Ooh. I think I take this bad boy. Hey, last champ. Last champ, what did you mean when you uh, when you messaged me on Discord? What were you talking about the donkey list? That's annoying. <clears throat> All right, chat. Let's see if they successfully bait me here. Well, now maybe we we just chill for a few turns. I think go alignment, then our nourish can be with the anaconda. It seems kind of better, to be honest. Ooh, this is annoying, though. This is very annoying. Um, but flipper friends, the park panther number two, maybe. I think I prefer that. To, like, yeah, nourish seems like a super bait. And this is pretty good. Not gonna lie, this is pretty darn good. Except for the cries of screams. Oh, Master, I just went 4-4. So, I, when I was 4-3, I had the fifth highest ranking of all time. But then Bunny Hopper and somebody else, Lita, both passed me up. It's brutal. Ah, uh, dude. Not this dude. Uh, what do I even do here? All right, winnable chat, winnable. Oh yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I just did. A, I just did whatever. I wasn't uh, like I said, I wasn't as emotionally invested in this tournament. Uh, but I still thought I played well. Like I, I have, I've, I've developed good habits over a long. But there are like a few spots where I like made. I had a bunch of three twos and I had a few just small sub optimizations that could have won me games. So I, I definitely had room to play better, but I think my, I, I did play some really good games, but I, I, there's a lot of stuff. I just, I'm not on like fully on top of things, but all right, here we go. Dude, I, I had an opponent 
go triple pyroblast on me. It was freaking brutal. They they got like pyroblast and then they went Queen Ashara. Two they went and then they scab got Queen Ashara backed. So they got two of the one mana things and they went four mana zero mana pyroblast and then two one mana pyroblasts. And I was like all set up for lethal. I thought I was crushing them. I thought there was like no way I'm. Wait what? Wait what? Oh no! I have to go for it. I have to assume they're bluffing. Whew. All right. More bones to knock. There. At least I take less damage. Oh no, this is bad. Oh god, I'm about to play it against two of these? Okay. Alright, dude. What you got? Hmm. Alright, well. Red. Not sure about this. You will be crushed beneath the endless tide. Feeble prawns. No one. More bones to knock. Winnable? Winnable chat. We need to get a good top deck, but like cause we I, I had to go nourish for ramp there so I could get the minions down. Otherwise I do a nourish for draw. And if I don't hit second nourish or I lose pretty much so or innervates, but Oh dude, they got the pyroblast? Dude, scammed again, chat. Uh chat, I would I would never lose if I didn't get scammed. I've done the math. I would only win. That was pretty brutal. They like they go yeah, that was pretty brutal. That dude, that's so true, Ashen. I was supposed to be this one. I, you see someone getting scammed, you think of it me. I am the one who scams. Queen of Java. 
I must protect the wild. What are the chances? I mean, they don't have to hit Pyroblast. They could hit, um, they could hit Blizzard there. They hit Blizzard there. They clear my board. They freeze everything. Uh, they could hit lots of things. So, no, I am. So, ah, I see. Is all I guess. Ooh, chat, I should have known. Should have known they were a rogue. Wait, that's on Prestor Druid. Um, it has a lot of uh, value-based and sort of uh, late-game decisions. So players who are really good at that can really outplay people. Um, players, because it's like... It's a very weird deck and there's a lot of room to, I think, put, put, get really complicated positions where players will, like players, really good players can outplay people, which is, I think, why people, good players like the deck. But I don't think it's actually that good, um, objectively. But like, what is good? That's like, so. But I don't think it's, it's overall power level is actually that strong. Stick um, move. Mm. And I'm just going to clear here. I can go ramp next turn. This seems good. Stops the tempo hard. It's pretty good, even though we don't like. We can draw alignment from this. It's probably this, right? Then we do this. We push damage here. We go Malagos next turn. We pretty much always draw alignment, and then hopefully that's enough. Did I really not draw alignment here? You gotta be joking me. Should you see this nonsense? Hmm. I guess I can cycle an aquatic form. See if I can get alignment here. Right, I guess I take guff here. And we just go for the old fashioned guff win condition. I 
I mean, we're at 30. Like, like I'm acting like I'm getting unlucky, but we're kind of crushing them here, so it's probably fine. Ooh, chat has fireworks. My family's getting watching fire. I got dinner with my family, but I, I didn't really want to go see the fireworks. Just tell you, your mother what you did. Dude, she already knows, Squeal. Sorry. It was actually her idea. Burning again. I actually could go like miracle growth into alignment. But I'm not even sure if like do I really want to go alignment when I have 16 mana and they have nine, you know? But it's a weird one. My powers are never That's interesting. It's kind of good. I'm wondering what's better here. I think I'll just take the draw three. Weird having so much health. So this Kazakasan work, you play some dragons, then you play some Kazakasan, dude. Easy. Keep your enemies close. Uh.
think I just gain a million armor here. I can literally just go Kazakas on next turn. Or I could go this turn, but I think I'm better off. I want to gain a bazillion armor. Ooh, do I ever play this? And just make a really annoying board and win? Also gain eight more armor. I mean, gaining just ridiculous armors is, is probably always winning. That rope's burning again. I mean, now it's just the mechanics, but I mean, on one end it's annoying, another end when you actually play it, it's pretty fun, Ellie. It has, it's very exploitable by Mutanus um, and Disruption, and it's very, very low, low tempo, so, and it's, but it's kind of a cool effect. Do I ever get to draw? Do I ever get to draw a frickin'? No, I think I just play Kazakasan. Chat, we just play Kazakasan and win with that, right? I mean, I have so much like. I probably just take the Kazakasan win here, right? So. Like, how do I lose? I have 30,000 health here. Seems pretty good. Furion versus Frexa. Let the hunt begin. I must protect the wild. I wonder if I should have kept Park Panther there. Oof. All right. Ah. ah. If they're actually hunter or if they're rogue. Well, we've got a turn five alignment here. We hit all our innervates, which is very lucky. 
Hey, Squeal, we don't use that kind of language here. Alright. You can only, like, imply that. You can't say it directly, alright? Frickin' A, dude. One, one would be so much better than two here. One is like... We're still in a great position, if I'm being fair. Because we have, uh... Turn... Turn four alignment coming. So... We have 40,000 health here. Do it easy. See what they do. Ooh, they're overloading themselves. That's actually very good for us, even though we only can play one card next turn now. Ooh, and null pickup is insane here. It's actually insane. Scabs isn't even that good here. I mean, it's good, but it's like, okay, it's pretty good, but it's like, okay, it's never mind. It's that good. Yeah, Rattle Gore mode, we lo we like uh love making nulls, all right? <laughs> no, we don't we don't we don't uh Ooh, guff off the top, dude. Let's go. It's insane. You know what, I kind of just want to ramp here and draw. Keep it simple. How do they stop? How do they beat me now? They're so behind. Or Boat Rogue? Uh, I don't know, honestly. I think Boat Rogue. Boat Rogue goes for the kill. The jackpot version, you need to get uh, scams off your cards. But <laughs> Let's dance. Uh, squeal, did I don't know. I uh, I'm gonna go with they're all not cute because I hate this question. Maybe they got some Chad energy, but Chad Chad and cute are two different things. All right, cute is like for puppies. All right, I don't I don't you know. This cute. I chat. I'm not. I'm not. A, that's not who kind of person I am. Like, who's the cutest? Who's the cutest? I can hit Anaconda here. Ooh, this seems kind of. Wait, I can block minion and spell here. Or I could just like tempo Kazakus on here. I kind of want to block minion and spell though. Let's see if I. Let's do it one more time. This must be the way. I'm seven moves ahead of you. I'm seven moves ahead of you. 
I might have thrown here at this line. I might have thrown. I mean, we still probably win, to be honest, but still. Uh, they run that, okay. Okay, that's not actually good. These are really, like, these aren't one mana. I don't know if they recognize that. Unfortunate loss. This Kazakasan's at the bottom of my deck. I have another aquatic form. I don't really want this this early. I'll just take this. More bones to gnaw on. The sea floor be its own treasure. Rope's burning again. More bones to gnaw on. From the smallest seed. Yep. We could shuffle a squirrel, but here's the thing. We actually like being Kazakas on being at the bottom of our deck. Uh, so shuffling actually decreases our chances of hitting Nourish or Malagos, which are the cards we want here. So Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Am I in trouble here? Oh god. Actually, really bad, right? Am I F to your chat? I don't have any way to clear this, right? Like, I just keep breaking on my top decks here. Can I draw, like, Raid Boss or, like, any card draw here? Jerry Rig Carpenter, Malagos. What is this freaking shitty Park Panther? All right, so can I get uh, something down? Okay, I can go trade on this, get this to two health, and why well, I had to see this a one. Um, hmm. Actually, not that good, but it's probably it has to do. Is there any other way I can get something as the one? Probably not. So, be one, two, three. I don't really want to go second alignment yet. Oh God. I 
Earthen on Panther into the 5 7? Is that the play? She has that many spells in my deck. This is a uh, bait. Okay, whatever. We're fine. This should be a win. Seed to heavenly star. All right, let's see if this is good enough. And this is to go even further beyond. <laughs> Chance with the pride. Thanks for having us. Get lying. Get lying on that subtrain. <laughs> Everyone, don't forget you too can subscribe free with your Twitch Prime. Thanks again, Shams. Love you. Second scabs incoming. I think the danger is some sort of swashburglar out. Um. Protect the wild. All right. Um, what do I do here? Gotta be scrappy with scraps. And this is to go. Last chance, I think, is for the gifts of. Uh, get on that sub train. Thank you so much. Last time for the gifts of. Uh, I'm kind of getting wrecked here.
Okay, we got Guff. If they don't have Guff and we have Guff, it's a pretty decent situation because we can ramp. We can ramp up hard. They're going Nepo to. Oh. We're just going tempo to the metal here. I don't have a good answer for this, right? Ugh. Hmm. I think I want to get my guff going though. And then I think I do a spammy play. This is tough. Um, if I draw my own raid boss or like a scale, but uh, that's pretty rough. That's very bad. They just block spell and they pretty much win here. I think they block spell. I guess they could block minion being like going for... I mean, I think I'm I'm after you. I have to. Ho All right. I know, right? They re they just tempoed me down. They're just a turn faster. Yeah, I mean, raid boss is a hell of a card, chat. Playing any Magic the Gathering? Not since I was in middle school. Probably means are they playing rogue or are they playing the mirror without 40 life? Hard to say. Nourish. So we should play good if I can use it immediately.
But if I just take the innervate here over the um, the jerry rig, just so I can get alignment down a turn earlier, might be the right play. Uh, the jerry rig's so good though, like long term, because like like having that card draw like post alignment still really nice. Or if I don't do this, like I don't get this, you know, I don't get the double nourishes. I think I'm gonna take the, the Jerry rig still. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. I have 40 life. My opponent's not doing anything crazy. What do you guys think? Should I take an in innervate? Could have gone and lime it down next turn, but this is like. I mean, their start isn't anything phenomenal here, so. Ooh, another jerry rig. Interesting. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. Could just draw three here. Uh, I kind of want to get this earthen or see if I can hit uh, Drew the Reef. This is actually really good. So I get another one. Post alignment. I think, that's, I think we're in a winning position here. You talked me out of Innervate? Yeah. yeah I mean, I, I think it's a people think if you play alignment, you auto win. Um, and then if you think that you've never played against someone who played alignment and then they just bricked, you know, so Oh god, that's annoying. Well um, This is weird because they know we have a uh, null shore null in hand so they can totally like bait play us But it's probably they probably pick spell so They have to it's so rough Ooh. Oh, I have to play this for two and hero power it down, right? Maybe I just take, um, I can play this next turn with the alignment, right? That's kind of good. So this is really good too. It's draw two, but I have, I have so much draw. I have so much draw. Let's not worry about the draw. Let's worry about the board. Why are people playing Quest Priest? Because Meaty got number one legend with it. So. I mean, it's it's a day two number one legend with all, all everybody playing Masters Tour. <laughs> so that's, but, but maybe it will hold. Um, I mean, I, it's still impressive getting number one legend with Quest Priest. Because it, just, it's just so bad that it's it's actually pretty impressive. Like it's impressive from a skill level, not from a like actual the the deck. Am I aft here? I think I'm aft. Dude, he just did too much. Uh, what do I do? I think I I think I have to draw spammy here. I think that's the out that I don't lose. I think I'm aft. Ah, oh, God, that that uh that two six just won the game. It was brutal. I know I have plays that technically keep me in the game, but damn.
stand for Friends of the Light. I must protect the wild. They actually are a paladin. I feel like these are decent keeps, but if they're a rogue. Ooh, we got guff. That's really good. They're the rogue. They didn't trade, so we're not getting uh, not getting nulled on two very less. So that's good. Just so I have a play for next turn, even though clock is technically good, but like, just so I can play and then go coin guff. Chat, they were a rogue the whole time. I knew it. I think this is better than coin four drop because uh, this allows to get cuffed next turn. And then the next turn we'll have uh, six mana. We can go like hero power, like park panther. And then we can go like hero power scale. Ooh, innervate is a free wild growth. Feels good, man. Yo. Hmm. Sometimes in these spots, I'm like, don't even think we rush the alignment, but it's probably you just. Sometimes I feel like alignment can be a bait play. Like, like if we top deck innervate, do we even go alignment? Like, probably not, to be honest, you know? Top take Malagos, we go line it. That's but we top take Malago and innervate at the same time, I'm saying. Top Jerry into draw could be nice. You can't always trust what you see. Well, there's a miracle growth. Is it just, Chad, what's the punish for going scale? I mean, does Rogue have good ways to deal with a wide board like this? Other than like some randomly generated death rattle bullshit that we know it's not the two mana card because they would have had enough. I think I'm just going to do that. And then maybe I do take the alignment play because I have miracle growth now. I don't know. This is well, now here, here's the thing about okay. The defense desire for low power ball is, is terrible, and the most fun decks have been from broken decks like Garrot Rogue, Brute DH, OTK meta. Um, it's not about low power level; it's about relative power level. Um, so. Low power level means, what does that even mean? It's about, so it's a thing of like, um, and a deck doesn't have to be complex. So certain things are, it's more like they, the, the attack on Brute DH, Gero Rogue, um, some of these broken decks is that they're not actually board interactive. Uh, the idea is that, um, 
while they are powerful, uh, they don't really utilize board very much, which is uh, why, which is the core way of interacting in the game. So, I think, and I think that's a pretty valid criticism. So, uh, we want games where there's lots of decisions, in my opinion, and we want. Uh, opportunities for players to play well, outplay their opponents, and opportunities for them to get outplayed and make mistakes. Um, and I think board creates that, and we want a feeling of um, my my decisions affect my opponent's decisions, and vice versa. So it's a thing of where, as opposed to, well, I just do my own decisions, and I still my decisions might be really hard, but my opponent isn't really relevant. That's the idea of the solitaire meta. Uh, where I might still have very high skill testing like decisions, but like there are decisions that um, that my opponent doesn't really get a say in, you know. That's why cards like Blade Master Okani can be nice, because even if you have a good answer for it, it kind of shoves it in your face and says like, you you can't do what you wanted to do, you gotta do something else. Um, and I think that's good for the game, uh, that, that players trying to actively stop each other's attacks and stuff. Wait, Chad, if, if I... I'm actually, like, so close to killing him. Do I go for Alex Straza here? I think I go for... Alex Straza would be lethal, right? Wait, oh, wait. Oh wait, no, no, I wouldn't have lethal ever here. Okay, wait, would it be lethal off? This is uh, sixteen plus sixteen plus sixteen is yeah. So I guess I can go for that out. Actually, I don't know. But... Well, I win, chat. Oh, it does attack like a ridiculous amount of damage. Okay. Okay. Gracias, Insider. One what's disgusting card. I like Devil Tune. Gracias, Insider. <laughs> I, I like it. You're like, voy bien español. Say gracias. Dude, it's, it's probably a rogue. Dude, if they're a, a 30 health... Nobody plays 30 health warlock, right? Like, it's probably a rogue here. That's excellent. I don't think I play the amalgam. Because, um... It could be... If it is warlock, it's a mutanus target. So... Is this version better than the 30 one? Um, unclear. I think so, though. More bones 
Ooh, they are playing Warlock. Okay. Good to know. Oh, we hit second Innervate Hyrule. Did. Oh, look at the. Witness the skill. Witness the skill, Chad. We go scale. I mean, we don't really have anything that good to, to freaking go alignment for. Oh, now we have to be careful, even. Because, uh, alignment. You have to time your alignment correctly. But I could just ramp up and, um. This is a weird situation. Like, I'm not even sure if I. Alright, but the. I don't know. Like. I guess this is before their six mana play, so I should probably do this. I can actually push a lot of damage next turn. Yeah, 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 it's been uh, hilarious, hilarious. All right, um, yeah. Oh, they're playing Owl TK? Okay. More bones to draw on. Ooh, witness the plays. Uh -huh, nice play. And they set up perfectly blocking the... Um... Mm. I think I want to draw more cards here. Okay. Scrappy with scraps. The sea floor be its own treasure. <laughs> Actually, so good with alignment. I mean, it's uh, it's kind of good. Eh, it's, I think it's good. I can play this and then start playing these cards and. Get lots of free four twos. It seems decent. I don't know. Maybe not. <clears throat> it's interesting when you hit guff, you, you don't even need the alignment. You can just play the deck. Day one meta tyrant. All right, well, if they dump their zero mana cards here, nope. This is funny, I can't even, do I wait a turn? Because I can do uh, Anaconda and Alignment on the same turn, which seems better to be honest than like not doing that. I, I do, I, I mean, Alignment's really good here though. Because all their cards go to one and they're all really discounted. I probably just go alignment here. Yeah, it's probably just alignment. It's awkward though in that like... I, I have literally no cards I can dump here. But it's it's got to be the right play. Hmm. We are all connected. From humble seed 
to heavenly star. Yeah. I mean, this looks like a wind shot. Seems good. Dump some cards here. More bones to gnaw on. Can we agree to compromise? Be scrappy with scraps. I'm the brood mother. Don't you ever forget. Seems good. Do I have lethals here? Um, I can go starfish. No, oh, it doesn't quite work. I can go just off, right? Um, Extraza would be nice. Alex. This must be the way. Probably lethal. Um, chat math is hard. Hopefully I got it. Easy. Malfurion versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. I must protect the wild. Uh. 
This is a good hand. Scrappy with scraps. All right, we've got our win condition. We go big nourishes. And then we go out, uh, so four, five, six. So we have we have this alignment pretty reliably on turn seven. Usually they don't have it by then, but they're really fast. They can win this. We also have to like get rid of cards out of our hand. Should be pretty. We have ramp into Blade Master next turn, which is really nice to be honest. It's like really nice. Wow, that's such a nothing turn, chat. Okay. Maybe they have all minions in their hand. Maybe we block spell. I think we block spell actually. This is very confusing for them anyway, so. I'm wondering if I, I might be able to take my time in here and just go like something like spammy plus park panther to set up for even bigger Malagos. Yeah. It's actually really annoying for them losing that illuminate, right? Like. Because like that's mana, that's like a proc on one of their three drops. So. When do you keep aquatic? Um, all right, I think you keep aquatic when you already have good stuff and you have a reliable turn. So for example, let's say you had Jerry Rig and Wild Growth. I would keep aquatic because it would allow me to do it at like kind of on a later future turn. Um, that makes sense. Hmm. They're so slow here that I think I can afford to just. Maybe I dump cards here. Like, I, I think I actually kill off my own minions because I'm never winning with minion pressure, right? What's the point of going face here? So we go Malagos, like, yeah, they're so slow here. But I felt like killing off my own board here was the right play to make, like, Pyro plays not as good. Then I just go Malagos next turn. My glasses I've worn uh, for four. Um, I got glasses when I was a uh, so like a eighth grade or an eighth grade I think. Maybe no, maybe yeah, I think eighth grade. And we win. Nice. I mean, we could just never draw alignment. It happens. Well, lol nerd. Lol nerd. Did I've been wearing contacts out in public, but yeah, I, I wore contacts pretty much all throughout college and almost never wore glasses. And then, uh, then 
Um, I got basically when I started working on computers all day. Um, I, you, I originally wore contacts and wore a hat. I wore my sticker on the hat, but it works so much better. My, my hands-free technology works so much better with glasses. Uh, then, so now I do that. So this is a hand, like, I think you can justify keeping aquatic form. Because you already have, like, a good plays. Um, I think I even keep the Druid of the Reef. I, I like keeping this whole hand. But I, I work, uh, now that I'm old, I wear contacts when I'm out, so I don't look, uh, so I look younger. But when I was young, I wore, like, when I was, like, 25, I'd wear glasses out to be super, super hip. And, uh, su super hip with it, you know? Oh, I know what you mean, Abductor. Yeah. Ooh, okay. We we know what they are. They are the play everything a bunch of times. Do I just top deck perfectly here? Okay. All right. Um, I could go. I could go aquatic, but I feel like I want to wait. I think I go aquatic next turn. It gives me direction. Like, oh my god, shit, my hand's insane. Get alignment here. I guess I take Blade Master here. You can get scale in a future turn, but this just gets draw, which is preferable. Now that I don't have like alignment here, I think I just double ram. Get the hero power going. I mean, we don't even need alignment to win this game. We literally just can go hard ramping. Like, we can just ramp freaking hard and just win with lots of mana. Like, I mean, they are playing a bunch of Rat Kings, which is kind of annoying. Uh, this is actually this is a really good play by them. Um, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. I guess I take scale, right? Like, just taking scale clears one, two, three, two of these. I mean, I can even clear all three if I want. I think I do, actually. Oh, now I just take alignment, right? I have, yeah, I just take the alignment. Yeah, that's the play. I didn't know I was going to draw that. That's that's better. We are all connected. From humble sea I have too good of a hand to, like, not star. take the alignment here, I think. Go scabs and they play more rat kings here. How good is this deck versus big spell mage? I'm not sure. Uh, big spell mage, um, they have counterplay. They can do things like, um, just like, uh, I don't know, like six dropping you. But okay, what do I do here? All right. Um, Okay, I hit. hit. I think I just ramp hard now. That's all right, dude. Easy. Is that kind of easy? Furious versus Sir Finley. Master, save the world. I'm 
must protect the wild. Frost, thank you for the Prime Gaming. Even further beyond. Get on such anything so much, Frost. Can you play Guff before Celestial? Well, you'll lose the mana. I don't know what you mean. Of course you can play Guff before Celestial. What are you, what are you asking? Let me get some music going, chat. Oh, chat, I forgot to put... Let me put Felice Navidad prices down. It is July, so uh, Felice Navidad is about to go on sale, all right? All right, Felice Navidad is currently 60,000 points. It is now only 10,000 points, chat. It's a bargain, a freaking bargain, all right? Snark, wow, dude, that was fast, Rail Gore Mode. One second. One second. The seed floor be so Snakey, thank you for the prank gaming. Get on that subject. Thank you so much, Snakey. All right. We got four. Wait, wait, we got all right. Four Felice Navidads. All right. Um, let me get it going. Put it on repeat. That's too loud. You gotta be scrappy with friends. Doctor, time waits for no one. All right, so we got Feliz Navidad and a hype train. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> York, he thinks of the Prime Gaming. Get on that train. Thanks so much, Yorkie. And this is to go even further beyond. Check. Can someone explain this terrible play? I know it's block. I know it blocks, but like. It blocks wild growth, I think they're thinking, but like. Is it just me or like coining that out seems so bad? Like I, maybe they're going for Alliance Bannerman here, but it still doesn't seem worth it. I know, right? Yeah, like. I mean, even if I have wild growth there, I consider just waiting a turn, you know? Let's see if I can get a... Ooh, I think I take smothering, right? It's actually useful. Ooh, that's annoying. Man, that's that's a that's a nice uh The sea floor be 
Chat, they actually predicted this. Yeah, dude, it's great. 40 health is the new chat. 40 is the new 30, all right? This is not what we stood for. With every step, the light guides you. <laughs> For the alliance and my family. <laughs> Dude, <man. laughs> oh, that's funny. That's some hilarious chat. Hilarious. All right. Do I want to deny them the, the tail end draw here? I don't think I care. I don't think it's worth it. Top deck alignment, we go Anaconda alignment, which is pretty good. At least not it done. The Queen's troubles is forbidden. Dude, what are these terrible cards they're running? Oh, it's like a buff paladin. All right, well, this is like a free win, right?
annoying. Ooh, they got unlucky on their hits here, though. Jade, what do you think they run for their discard? I'd rather have more than one of these. Big minion chat. Do I have a good answer for this? Not really. It's very annoying. But, um. I think I pop off with Anaconda here. It's risky. It's uh, 14 mana. So I guess I could do, uh. Seems kind of good. Yeah, it seems good. I like it. I mean, we we had night like we had like 19 mana there, so it looks like we did a lot, but we had to spend eight mana to do nothing to get that. So it really was an average 19 mana turn. I would pay money for a ladder without Kazakasan. You would also pay money for a ladder with Kazakasan, because that's what you got and you paid money, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's wild. No, death to death. Did I tell you? Uh, yeah. Did show, so, Chani, you're PoE people. Uh, I played some PoE during the downtime while I'm waiting for my Master Tour games. I'm doing the feared. And I drop a mirror. I got a mirror of Calandra. Like, the one in, like... Bazillion drop. It was crazy. So I don't even. I've, I've, I don't even know what to do with it. I'm. Uh, I. I finished my build. I know, right? I. I. So I have like all this currency, but like I kind of want to keep it as a souvenir, because at the end of the day, like it's, it's. It's like my build's good enough. Like I can do all the content except like Uber bosses, but it's more because I suck at the game that I can't beat Uber bosses, but. I've gotten one beer. My my brother has about five cave hours demo, and he's not a good beer, but he's found Chris Wilson or like the Chris Fisherman. But yeah, yeah, it was crazy. And like my brother was, I was showing my brother my build, and he was like on Discord with me watching while it happened, which was crazy. I should have taken a screenshot. I mean, I have it in my stash, but he's like, 
you got to pick it up and put it in your stash because the game crashes. You don't get it. It's it's crazy. It's it's like oh my. It's yeah. Is your brother in the sex cult? No, he's he's not that kind of guy. Like if I wanted to talk either of my brothers to be in the sex cult, I would have to get them both wasted. So. Demon Hunter. Guess I could keep the an Do I keep Malagos ever? Uh, probably not against Demon Hunter. All right, whatever. No. That's shooting myself all the way to get crash for DC. Yeah. Wait, if you just pick it up and do exit character selection, does that work? I don't know. But yeah, I got it after doing the feared. Like I was like, I was like, all right, I'm done with my character. I want to show you, but so I could buy like a super, like something like really, really strong. But I don't even know if I like, I like my character. So I'm thinking about like saving in case I ever want to make like a, I thought about making one really broken standard character. Um, so I can just like, play the kind like if i just want like want to do like some like ridiculous like like juiced maps but kind of getting wrecked over here actually i'm not doing that bad most of our pretty good here I prefer this to, to I can go nourish next turn and then we go scale yeah because like yeah Oh, Gravor, you you understand. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> now, there are rumors out there. There are these false rumors that I'm not actually in a sex cult. That, uh, that I just say that so people won't ask what I'm doing at night. But I want to confirm that those are absolutely rumors and have no basis in truth. All right? Nice hardy bear. I think that here's the thing, Artie Bears, like most people are terrible at everything. Like look at like Hearthstone. Either people who have played like Hearthstone for like 2000 hours and like they struggle to get legend because like, and it's not even cause it's not cause they're stupid. It's because they haven't developed the skills of learning. Uh, but yeah, it's amazing how people can be like, do something so much and still be bad at it. Nice, Dave Vasily Goose. Can't understand how to learn. 
learning is a skill just like everything else. Like I didn't know how to like learn shit when I was young. And it was like, I was jealous of people who were good at shit. And I just did, I just thought people were just good at shit or not good at shit. To, uh, but then I found out that you could like, I mean, get, there's the, the art of getting good at shit out there, you know? So. Ah, maybe I should just pick spell there. Oh, I'm getting multi strike. This is if I get dead prison glaive, I'm dead here. Uh, all I maybe I should have just picked. Damn. Hmm. Amidst the flames. Mm, damn. Really? Uh, that sucks. Freaking sucks, shit. Wait. You get 80,000 multi strikes here. Wait, do I still win? Oh, I still win. I just go face. It's over, dude. Yeah, I, I still win. Never mind. I was like, this sucks, but tempo king chat. Playing two or three games an hour, yeah, but I mean, if you play one hour a day and you play good, solid fundamentals, you should get to legend by the end of the month. Um, like you don't need when you play good, solid fundamentals, like you spend your mana, take value trades, you plan ahead. Um, Maybe you play around key removals, uh, stuff like that. Um, you uh, will get to legend. It just might take you the whole month if you have other holes in your game, you know? One of the things I liked about my first deck uh, to get the legend was Raza Priest. I think it's really good to play decks that you are aware that you're making lots of mistakes if you don't have a coach. So if you have a coach, you can play like a... a but if, if you play a deck in every game, you're like, I did this wrong, I did this wrong, I did this wrong. You're going to get better really fast because your brain is seeing all these things that you're doing wrong. The, the biggest thing that you can be in where you, you don't learn... Uh, is where you playing and you you don't realize you're doing things wrong. All right, can we draw nourish and win the game? That'd be great. You gotta be scrappy hmm. with scraps. I literally have like no spells to play here. Predictable. Yeah. 
I feel like that was a bait play. I feel like that's not actually a good play to do. They're better off just like getting their ramp. I see, but eh, it kind of works, um, except for the fact that I'm gonna clear in two turns and I'm, I hit the nourish. Not good. They're fishing. Chat, my, our opponents always be fishing, chat. Well, maybe I go just go guff here. It's like getting the ramp going seems insane, but I don't know though, because I I kind of I think I may just go tempo king. Let's just go Tempo King. Like, we go Anixia next turn. It's, it's real annoying. And then maybe we go... We also could just go... It's nice to have the guff for, like, if they do... A, they go for a fast alignment, you know? Because... Otherwise, we don't really have many good plays for... If they decide they, they're, they're worth going alignment here. This must be the way. This must be the way. Mm. This must be the way. Uh, I, I really don't want alignment here. I can go guff on a future turn. Uh, I guess I could go guff now because uh, maybe I do just take the guff here. Because then that gets us... It gets us towards the Anaconda alignment play. So we ramp next turn, um, and then we can go Anaconda and Alignment on the same turn. Okay, they just want to make things easy for us, chat. That's nice of them. I think. Please, please get lucky. Oh no, chat! What have I done? This was this was bait playing her. Okay, well, that didn't work out very well. None can stand against the serpent Oh, this is rough. Oh God, and they play the cause cause down, so I can't even win with like playing alignment here. Uh, it's over, right? I think I can't win here. Uh.
I need them only be able to play one card per turn. Otherwise, they don't even they stand a chance. I mean, I, I don't even know if they did. Like, I, like I, I don't like this habit of, like, even though I know you guys are on my team, when I'm losing, everybody's like, has to find some way to make it so our opponent actually doesn't deserve to win. You know? Oh, I'm just freaking... All right, I'm like, I can't. I can't do this. For some reason, I thought they'd used all their nourishes. I guess I should have killed the uh, Anaconda there. I was going to go to the alignment there. All right, I think this is the last uh, Fleece Navidad. All right, actually, yeah, we'll go, we'll go to the next. Uh, let's go to... Thank you, Tears. You have to play a bad deck, he gets to play a good one. It could be fun. Do do more content. I, the blessings of nature. I probably don't keep alignment in the mirror. Chester Todd, thank you so much for the five gift subs. Get on that sub train, thank you so much, Chester Todd. Did you guys see so like Sapir David did his like get to legend thing? It was a really it was an interesting idea. I liked it. Um where he um he uh he made it so every um what was it? Every Yeah, I I was thinking about like I don't know if I were, I were doing something similar, but I'm not sure. But like, I I might do it like so like the first sub I concede, then the next two subs I concede, so it gets like more and more expensive to make me concede. Uh, the, like the longer you do it, so like eventually you might have to get like get 20 subs. I thought that could be fun. Just don't shave your head. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. So I, I, I also have to figure out. <laughs> yeah. I'd also have to figure out like what I want to do with it, you know? I know, right? <laughs> yeah, so, so that's the thing of like, it gets more and more expensive. To, 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 you know. I, I'm balding too, Shane. But like with my... You can like kind of notice. But... Uh, I f um, it would be hard on my body. Not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> I like this board. <laughs> we both have Blade Masters on the board. I probably just Alex their Blade Master next turn. Well, I guess I could go Scenarius, but.
I met you in Masters Tour round seven. Or oh, did we play in round seven? What was, what was your, oh yeah, okay. I'm trying to think. What was our games? We had the, um, yeah, the, what was our match? I'm trying to remember. You, you had Warlock, right? Ah, okay, okay, okay. You had Warlock, right? I remember incorrect. Scrappy with scraps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we had uh I I played a lot of lineups like yours, I think, Andrew. With like shaman you had but like uh I didn't have shamans at the beginning, but yeah, I banned the shaman, I remember. Let me look at what uh I'm trying to remember our games. Dude, the battle fires are not. Yeah, we had a... hmm. Oh, I, I remember, oh, dude, dude, did you have that, you had that, did you have that, um, that triple pyroplast play on me? Oh, that was brutal. It was a great play. <laughs> it was freaking brutal, dude. Uh, is that, that was you, right? Oh, I should have freaking... Yeah. That was you, right? Yeah, talking about the rogue. Oh, it's weird. I had both you and the other person. I had a uh, cute rogue, a uh, shaman against rogue round one. So, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to remember what. I think I think you just out tempoed me actually. Like hard. I'm trying to remember how that game went. Ooh, guff number two. Okay. All right. I gotta think about my plays. Um...
Okay, I'm gonna do that next turn. Oh, where the eat? Oh, yeah, you kept eating my. Yeah, that was a real nice play. Because I was like, Nelly's not that good, but you kept eating my beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just get. You did that. I could. Uh, I was. I mean, I got lucky that I, I had some nice top decks to keep me in the game. But uh, but it wasn't enough, you know. All right, let's see if I can pull this off here. None can stand against the perfect lords. From humble seed to heavenly star. can stand against the serpent lords from the smallest And the cycle of life is reborn anew. I have lethal here. I don't actually have much burn, so. Uh, I might have thrown. I did think I threw through here, fortunately. Hmm. This must be the way. Oh, this sucks. I have to trade Feeble prawns. with this. I think they're still winning here, but... I don't remember what our other games was. So
Oh yeah, I remember our last game. Uh, uh, you didn't you didn't hit alignment, and that so I got lucky and won there. It was uh yeah. Oh yeah, I did. I liked that one. <laughs> Let the games begin. I must protect the wild. Gotta be scrappy with scraps. The Queen's trowel is forbidden. Oh, they're playing ping over there. Okay. Wait, are they playing old fashioned Naga style? Because I just take another Nourish here. I could take Innervate, but it doesn't get me to alignment faster, right? So I'd better off just taking Nourish and going ramp next turn, I think. That's a nice reduction. Would be a shame if someone neutralized it. I know, right? Unless they have run two of them. I think they weren't thinking about like, hey, my opponent might be playing Celestial Alignment because I would have definitely just played Alignment there and they could have had all zero mana spells.
This is not what we stood for. Rope's burning again. My board chat should be fine though. What's the way to playing Kazakasan? Kind of just actually could use more value. Interestingly enough, I have I have, I have a guff hero power, so I should be fine actually. I don't really want to, um... I don't really want to play alignment number two, even though it probably closes out the game. Because I think just having nine mana here is more reliable of a win. You go on there. Mm. Do I really want anything? I guess I could draw amalgams. Right, let's just get cars down. Interaction and uh, uh, crushing it with the celestial druid. Preserved. 
Hmm. Kind of keep all this, honestly. Scrappy would scratch. It's really fun. Dude, dude. All right. Chat, I'm like the, the bad guy that the world made the, him bad. Like, I was a, a, a happy ramp druid player. And then Blizzard, in their injustifiable evilness, decided to nerf ramp druid, but keep alignment druid doing just fine and dandy. All right. Something very wrong about that, but it is what it is. So they kept alignment druid fine and dandy. And then now here we are, you know? They have a fast nourish here, really? Damn. You do this in the guff, it's pretty brutal. If they have guff here, I probably have lo lost the game. Ooh. Change of plan, shit. How do they nerf other nerf earthen scales? Um, yeah. All right, later, last champ. More bones to gnaw on. Crap. More bones to gnaw on. Ah, uh, you jerk. Is they mad at me? Nope. Oh god, I'm about to get alignment did I? Control Sean video, thank you, Doctor. Yeah, I, uh, what do you guys think? Um, I've noticed that my YouTube videos, my YouTube, and it might just is like, feels like it's doing really bad right now, the viewership, uh, for like this week, which I was a little surprised. But yeah, might just be the end of an expansion. I mean, and like Lady Pressure, so it's about to get, it's gonna get 10K. But, but yeah, I don't know. Um, Alignment Druid usually does bad, but I was surprised that Prince Renthal cursed Warlock. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so. Or down across the board? Okay. And the cycle of 
Like, I mean, I'm totally okay with, like, kind of chilling. It's, uh, that's annoying. That makes my life so much more difficult, chat. Can I give me a guff? I think I'd rather go get some... Yeah, I don't, so. If your video is like an hour long, some of them are, yeah. So. Yeah, this is bad. These are all worthless. These are so bad. These are so effing bad, chat. Why do I have to get such shitty ones? Holy crap, chat. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm just fucked. Like, all right, let's just do this. Okay, so so huge decline. I mean, it's the end of an expansion. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's like, yeah. Neither of us have drawn guff here. Man, I would love if they went alignment. It'd be so good. Yeah, so I'm just wondering, like, you know, when I when I see trends, I like, because my Twitch viewership's been fine, uh, or doing really well. So, but my YouTube viewership, I feel, um, uh, well, it's my it's. I think my Twitch viewership. Uh, maybe that means I'm growing relative on Twitch, but I my YouTube is kind of staying the same, which is, you know, l progress isn't linear. So it's like not a big deal, but yeah. Ooh, I think I need to freaking kill this. What do I do here? This is so annoying. I can't let them get alignment in the same turn. I think it's too... with scraps. <laughs> Let's see if I overdraw another good card chat, another guff, an anaconda, all of the above. I drew three really bad cards. I draw one good card and two really bad cards. I got gotcha. you. Oh yeah, so Dude, I hit dude, I freaking overdraw the worst cards two times in a row, chat. It's freaking brutal.
I want to hit Guff. But then they can just probably just go alignment, so maybe it's not actually that good. There he is. No, I overdraw amalgam here, so I can't. Uh, it's really not what I wanted to see, chat. Still might win. I hit like scenarios here, it's insane. Can we agree to compromise? This is the rush, that's garbage. Uh, this was a mistake at the end. I do push a lot of damage. I could have gotten null down here. They've used like all the reactive tools, I feel like. Let's see if they just go YOLO alignment here or something whack. Yeah, if I didn't ramp, I could get the null down here and push another five. That was a mistake. His mouth's moving or your hands up. Welcome to the stream, Amy. Of life is 
Give me one, chat. <laughs> That's no worries. I'm just being. I'm just being. Uh, I'm just being a dick. You know. Chad, I can't wait to, I'm going to go watch the, the pocket train video, the games after this. I'm pretty excited. I saw po pocket train and made one. It's a pretty big deal. I mean, pocket train has been kicking ass for so long. It's finally getting tournament, tournament results. The last two years, we got ramp druid. I think I liked uh, some like a uh, Baron's Priest. I um, what did I like? Oh, I love Small Spell Mage. I love Dark Lair Warlock. Uh, like not not the D six like the like the with Flesh Giants for tempo. I really liked that deck. I loved Small Spell Mage. Um, yeah. Um, Ramp Druid. Uh, I really yeah. Go to the bathroom real quick. Malfurion versus Malfurion. Protect the wild. Nature must be preserved. Wait, did I just play this dude? I thought I just played this person. There's somebody else. Yeah, dude. Dude, deleting him now, Gamage. I don't. I don't accept that. All right, they're not gonna be. Uh, might have, they might, I might have forgiven them, but it will not be forgotten that they can delete. Uh, it's almost like a power move before Turtle Mage, dude. I didn't like Turtle Mage. Then I spent a whole week playing it because I needed it for a GM lineup, and then they deleted Turtle Mage. Pissed me off. Cause I like I spent like the whole week. Yeah, well, I think it's like a power move. It's like when the like the bad guy in a movie just kills off one of his henchmen to show how like things are expendable. They're they're showing their power over you. Like, what are you gonna do? You Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. I don't think I want to use the coin ramp here. The time has come. <clears throat> because it... <clears throat> So I stopped watching Hearthstone at 1 a.m. Wait, I don't understand Iceman.
more bones to gnaw on. I like this song. Are you hitting legend on stream? Yeah, dude, why not, dude? Dude, uh, chat, I, I'll do Superior David's deal, but for 100 subs. <laughs> and only gift subs. Can we agree to uh, maybe, maybe I'll do an actual Superior David. I really like his idea. I think it was a really good idea. Oh, that's not good. <clears throat> Rip it with this hand? No, we don't have any ramp. I think I'm just going to draw three here. Oh, this sucked. Okay, so now if they go alignment, I have counter plays. Because I hit ramp, I hit miracle growth here, you know? Every five subs, eat a sausage, dude. That sounds great. Until I'm like... Yeah. To watch certain streamers. Oh, I got you, Iceman. Is there any way I can get a one, two, three, four? <coughs> mm -mm. What do I even do here? What to do? One, two, three. Oh, there is. I don't have enough mana to pull it off, though. <laughs> and the cycle of life. Like the, they have to have a hell of an alignment turn. Oh, they are doing it. Okay, here they go. Here they go. We got We got to be ready to go our counterplay. So I, I have I, I have multiple draw threes here. pretty rough.
Did I just effing brick heart here? No ramp trap. Damn. I'm dead. I can see. <laughs> I could I could I probably should hang in there, but like I, this feels like the worst thing he's ever said. What does that mean, Iceman? Nice celestial. I haven't I haven't seen a Marachi band play in so long. But I used to when we go yeah. We have a very good hand here. It's like very good. What are you doing here? Triple Reshi boy here? Interesting. Very aggressive. But we should be fine. We have thirty thousand life here. Ooh, ooh. That's very bad. There's a lot of damage in coming chat. <clears throat> but I think we're fine. <clears throat> hmm. You gotta be scrappy with <coughs> Alright, we should go scale next turn. We take 16 here, but I think we're okay. <laughs> Quite the sneeze. Hmm.
Wait, I've never forgotten that. I could see that. Alignment. There it is, a little late. Such a good top deck. I don't have anything good. This is good because, like, they probably go Mutanus here, and I have nothing that's actually good Mutanus material here. Like, that's what I usually do in this spot, but I have no kind of Condra, I have no big minions, so it's not a very good Mutanus. Go go Makaz here. Dude, I agree already, Bear. Am I getting Makad here? Alright. Maybe I shouldn't have drawn cards. Maybe drawing cards is bait. Damn. That sucks, Chad. That freaking sucks. Uh we're still probably fine here. Cause we just need to get like like a, a colossal minion or something off Moonlit, but not what I wanted to see, that's for sure. This must be the way. Okay. I am the spell Well, Pelo, yep.
Dude, how many? They're just going all in on this mutanus lifestyle, but they're actually bricking hard. Alright, just need to hit like raid boss. This must be the way. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. I hope this fits on the ship. Do you have an audience with the king?
Rouge. Let's watch. See if he gets. Does he have lethal here or something? Ooh, a blizzard's real nice. How does he have a 10 10? Wait, what the hell is this? I've never seen this minion. This is. Uh... Chat, what is this arena? They have arena only cards? It's a Battlegrounds card? I did not know that, the Meyer. Well, I, oh, I know it used to use to sell it. But it, wait, wait, it's not like, it's just the animation. It doesn't have any resemblance of a Battlegrounds. Like, the animation, the Battlegrounds card you sold to get buffed on your board. What the heck is up with this? Did my game bug? Oh no.
Ooh, Frostbite would have wrecked me there, but not Frostbite, so. The time has come. What is up with this play? What is it? <clears throat> well, Chad, I won. This Park Panther just wins the game hard. Look at that. Nature waits for no one. I'm tempted to keep the, uh, it's all, uh, starfish against shaman is too valuable. Yeah, it's probably burned, but they used all their burn, D Meyer. The double lightning bolt, uh, this, uh, and we're like, we're head on board, which is kind of fun. All right, let's see if I can hit like nourish or something off of this. I don't know what I want. Nourish should be good. Kazaka's not in hand is kind of annoying here. Right, I think I take the aquatic here. Let's see if we can high roll. I guess I can play this. Uh, the bottom of my deck kind of sucks here, so we'll just we'll just keep it simple. <clears throat> I'm so vulnerable to mutinous with this hand, which sucks. Ooh. Now I can get a uh, null, which I prefer. Ooh, that is some serious schooling chat. Hey, what are they doing? I feel like they should have played the other two and then just pushed. Wait, I guess they can't push damage, crazy damage or anything. Oh. I guess I want Anaconda here. Do I, do I even care about Anaconda here? Like, I don't have a good hand for her. Like, I have to go Malagos anyways. I think I just take the Null. Because I can do this play, which seems solid. Dude, Nepalatoon is so good post alignment. Ooh, chat, witness the skill. Witness the skill. It is pretty fun. I'm having a good old time. I think that's honestly. I could push like a million damage here, right? Let's 
pop off chat. What a fun one player game mode. I know, right? Dude, it's pretty fun. Is this the best deck? It's pretty good. I think this is better than Prestor Druid. But I don't really know. So. Chat, these queue times are getting really bad. Do we go over to America server and climb? Like, this is taking forever. I might go over to the America server. But I'll let you guys decide. Do we keep pushing for the legend or... It is America. All right, we got a game, but after this. Melfurion versus Sylvanas. The penalty for treason is death. I must protect the wild. It's very unfortunate. I'll just take the hard ramp play. Be 
scrappy with scraps. All right, please no. Uh... Ooh, that's annoying. Uh, chat, they baited me! Chat, how did they bait me, like, so easily there? They're like, he never goes enriched there. He always plays around it, right? It's a nice play, actually. Should have a full clear next turn. Really sucks when they have um, big Hydra here, because uh, I lost my auto clear here, but I just have to do that play. Uh, I have the big Hydra. All right, I top deck Innervate or Scale. Otherwise, I gotta go for my Moonlit here and hope to get something good. Uh, I don't think I even. I get like a something here. So I have to decide if I want to go um, Park Panther. Actually, Park Panther Earthen is pretty good here. I think I take that line. Um, I don't. Really, let's see if I go Innervate Miracle Growth. Is that better? Hmm, I wonder. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, it's a rough one. I, 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 I think it's the Park Panther. This could give me a... Hmm. All right, we got raid boss. Hopefully they don't go taunty boy here. But taunty boy, we can clear off a lot, so... Oh no. Actually, we can beat this, right? It's actually not so bad. It's actually not so bad at all. Just need to draw alignment for a problem winning. There goes just the revive pools F tier now, but. All right, we, we don't have like, King Crush is still a pretty good play here. Cause it put us down to four and then, so it's tough. I did not Socrates.
Okay, we got. Alright, let's see if this is good enough. We might be able to just get okay. Wow, chat, we are crushing it. 15 and 6. Alright, chat. Do we go to the America? Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna count to 60. If we don't queue a game, we go to America. If we queue a game, we stay on the Asia server. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty. I guess it says I don't need to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did, did they got a timer right there, Spirit David? I found a loophole in the system. Oh, that was fast. Okay. Counting game, my new favorite. Malfurion versus Lunara. Ishnu Allah, I suppose. I must protect the wild. Paul guys here. Ooh, they're playing this one, okay. I might need the value, it's kind of a weird one, but uh. All right, I want to save it for value. I go wild growth, I go nourish then. What do you guys think about that? Oh crap. Strictly. Thank you, drug box. Take 
I don't know. I don't like my plays here. Ooh, this is brutal. Show these mortals your true Good. All right, here we go. Ooh, I just I just play Malagos here now. It like almost always draws a line. It's actually a phenomenal top deck, right? That I I really didn't draw an alignment here. Come on, dude. What is this nonsense? All right, well. To chat, I always drew this alignment, so it's fine. Be scrappy with scraps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I basically drew alignment because of this, so. And I got an anaconda ready to go, so. We're good to go, chat. Take second, one man of Malgos. That looks pretty good. My power is infinite. I haven't drawn my nourishes or my wild gross either, but right, hopefully this works. Shot. But yeah, Superior, I really liked your idea. I feel like I'm going to do some version just like the no-hand style. Uh, because I liked it. I liked what you did. All right, let's see if I don't lose here. Not sure about this. Might be really dumb. Okay, I hit Innervate, that's good. And I hit the Nourish, that's good, okay. Um, Hopefully this is winning. Deathwing? Oh no! Wait, maybe they hit all draw and they no mana, so it's... Maybe we're fine here? Uh, wait. Oh no. Dude. Uh, this is how you get bait. Wait. Oh my god, chat. What the heck, heck happened here? Oh no. Not like this, chat. 
And they have this effort. Wait, wait, it's always hitting the 10 8 here. We're fine. Okay. We have no more minion space. Maybe they panic here. One second, joke box hero. I have 34 on board here. Do I have an Alex Straws on my deck? I do. Okay, okay, okay. More bones to knock. Dang it, I didn't get it. Oh, this is good though. Shit, chat. Fuck. Need to trade shit off. Um, let's trade this off. Oh, did I throw with my APM, chat? I might have thrown with my APM here. Oh, God. Get on that sub train. Thanks so much, Jokes Fox Hero. Uh. Oh, he can get my Alex Straza. Such nonsense. I I couldn't draw Alex. Uh. Yeah, maybe they're. Panicking. I can feel the panic. They never get their chat. I'm supposed to. Oh, these are fishing chat. They're fishing. They're fishing hard here, chat. They're fishing super hard. Is that good there? No. Got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we agree? <laughs> it is a good line, funny goblin.
Dude, we got, is it finals? Wait, no, is this the semifinals or is this finals pocket? Okay, semifinals pocket and uh, yeah. Happening now, who won, Habu or Dravo? Dravo won, wow, dude, Dravo's going to the finals. Good for him. Dude, he plays so much. Dude, he's such a good, he's a very good player. Who's the second best Hearthstone player alive? Probably Gabby. Awakening the nightmare. I must protect the wild. That's all three games. Dude, that's part of the game though, you know? How did you go? I went four and four. So not bad, not great. Ooh. I'm not gonna tell you who's number one, chat, but it's like Gabby's number two. Number two is pretty good. That's at least that's what I think. Might need this later for the health. You have a really good hand, but. Ooh, yes. Maybe I just ramp with Guff, because then I don't need to, um, Use this, and I can use this post uh, post alignment. You know, I feel like I like that better than just going hard ramp here. Can we agree to compromise? It's pretty good. You know what's interesting in these games? I don't even need to go alignment. Like, I'm, I'm crushing so hard here, you know? Like, who needs to go alignment? I could just wait for them to use all their shit, you know? Sure, I have all the dragons I need here, you know? Still, still might be worth it, because, like, uh even though I don't really like need to go alignment, it still feels like a really nice play overall to just to like get that shit going, you know? Like they, it's hard for them to draw. I guess they can go, yeah, two could. I think I'm just gonna go alignment here. It's okay if they discount all their shit. Mm. See what they do here. Ooh, that's actually not that big a deal. Can I get all my dragons down in time here, chat? I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can get Kazakus on down, you know? I think it's doable.
Did they disconnect here? Looks like they disconnected, chat. Back up Kazakasan, let's go. Dude, easy. I can just play Kazakasan as a a minion. I wonder if they 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 Oh well they just disconnected. Oh, here they go. Maybe they didn't disconnect. I don't really know. Making it awkward for my raid boss here. If I wanted to play raid boss, because let's see if they hit the three threes. They probably play shit here though, right? Okay, Don't fine. I think I want more cards in my deck. Or maybe no, maybe I just let's just do the freaking Zakasan. Just do it. Fuck it. Uh-oh. Oh, that's really annoying. That's kind of interesting. Wait, am I about to get wrecked here? Son of a gun, Chad. I'm getting wrecked. I'm getting wrecked hard here. I have, wait. Oh, shit, Chad. I have all offensive stuff. I don't really have any good defensive stuff here. It's actually so bad. This is actually so bad. I'm kind of getting effed here. But I do have a lot of life, but like... Oh, God, I... Did I have better defensive options on my Kazakasan? Okay, it's not a big deal getting I just have to play Kazakasan in a few turns. Hmm. 
I kind of want to draw my other shit. They don't have lethal here. I can get rid of some of the curses if I want. Oh, crap. I did not draw the good card. Okay, I did. There we go. Oh god, I'm so dead. Alright. Maybe I was supposed to play alignment there, honestly. I don't know. Cause alignment blocked a lot of their plays, but I guess I could have gone the cause alignment, but I don't know. Two mana weapon here for lethal or something? Oh, they're going to do a thousand curses here, probably. I think I'm losing this chat. Pick me, pick me. Ooh, the second cause actually saves us here. And they're literally just trade. Okay. This is actually so good that we have the second cause here. It's actually so lucky. And they're just trading off all their minions here and their spells. This is great. Wait, am I dead though? I might just be dead. Wait, I... Uh... Am, I am I just dead? I feel like I'm just dead. I feel like they, they might have missed lethal here. That's what I'm hoping. Ah, oh, dude, why couldn't it have hit to go on for... T ah, would have been nice. Five, four, five. Wow. One fatigue, okay. Two fatigue. Uh, am I just super dead here? Oh, I drawn all the fatigue cards is bad. I'm pretty sure I'm super dead. I guess I have to like. Cause and draw book and heal or something like, I don't know. I don't think it's, I think it's over. I don't think it's not. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just concede here. This is Asia. Dude, let me tune in. Who's winning? Ooh, looks like looks like Pocket's not winning this game. Man, he's not even close to killing him.
this garage. Victory or death. I must protect the wild. What? Problem is this deck probably crushes us, to be honest. Damn. In a box? Pirate stuff. All right, if I get innervate here, we're in a great spot. She mm. raid negotiator. Ooh, I just take the park panther here. That's actually real nice. That's actually really nice. Never lucky, please. Dang. Ooh. This is tough, but I think ramping's too important. Allows me to almost always full clear next turn. Even though I take this is like a effectively a seven attack minion, so it's pretty rough, but It's better to do this than face tank. I don't know. Might have been better having a 3 4 and a discovered effect. Me. Ooh, Pocket Train's got a good hand and a good matchup, but this opponent doesn't seem to have a good hand, so. Ooh, I will take the the O power overpowered turn. Okay, this was this was very lucky top deck. Oh. 
All it takes is a lot of lava. Oh, we got please not a dad request. All right. Let me get the fleece not a dad going. We have lethal eight. Lethal right. Feeble frog, feeble frog. Win, win, win. Malfurion versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. Nature must be preserved. Ah, ah, ah. I see. Hmm. Better impressor, Druid? I think so. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you, too.
probably got nurse or guff here. Yeah. I don't know what to do here. This seems mm. that's annoying. Unfortunately, we're already in the middle of the song, so you gotta wait till the end of the song, Mech, but yeah. More bones to gnaw on. Can we agree? <clears throat> Drawing your highest and lowest cost cards is actually pretty good. <coughs> More bones to gnaw on. Spammy.
sea floor be its own treasure. That road's turning again. From the smallest sea. So I'm intentionally taking damage here. Uh but like so he's board locked and then I get the I get to ramp up to a guff from the level level, so um but it, so that that's the idea of this play and this play. So even though we have a really bad hand against alignment here, he has to like, he doesn't know that. So it looks like we have nourishes in our hand and like we're waiting on it, you know? Um, he has to think that we might have that kind of stuff. So he doesn't probably feel good about going alignment, but he might do out of desperation, which would actually work very well for him, unfortunately for us. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, no alignment. That's very good for us. The sea floor be its own treasure. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. Time waits for no one.
Yeah, Degent. Wait, did we? Oh, we got two Police Navidad requests I gotta play? Okay, alright. Play it twice then. Ooh, Pocket Train's up 2 1. Dude, it's crazy. Wait, no, no, I'm not playing this song. Even though I like this song. Wait a minute. Felicidad. <coughs> Make some tea chat. I must protect the wild. Ah, ah, I see you broadcast. Job done. Time waits for no one. Oh shit. Man, these suck. Tempo King chat. Ugh, those suck so bad. Be scrappy with scraps. All right, I think we did. It. Let's go back to regular music.
Uh, our hand's so bad. Alright, not not till we gotta have this song, so. Uh, so it's not the fleece not my dads that are annoying, it's just like switching songs. It's it takes me out of my flow state, you know? So well, Okay, alright, that's a very good top deck. You gotta be scrappy it's with scraps. Maybe I should have dumped a, I honestly should have dumped a card there, I think. Yeah, that was short-sighted, because I probably want to draw. Oof, it's very bad. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. Nah, it's on sale right now, Railboar. We hit the that guppy boy. Ooh, no more Malagos. So, um, uh oh, that is not good. Forty versus thirty cards for alignment. You the uh, that druid priest and warlock benefiting. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's any other classes that really benefit from forty health, but druid does because it just values health so much, and it's usually uh needs to get to its good stuff. Priest because of heal. Pa Paladin in theory could, but right now it has so much heal, and not enough card draw. So if Paladin got the right cards, it could benefit too. Uh, so just because it's currently benefiting from it doesn't mean it couldn't theoretically benefit from it. Um, Priest isn't really benefiting from 40 cards right now. Uh, it just theoretically could as well. Like Quest Priest is not a real deck. Um, Uh-oh. Uh-uh. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, dang, that's that high life is super relevant here. I 
13, 17 next turn. I'm probably dead to Alex here. I don't, ha I don't have a good line here, really. Um, I, yeah, what's my good line here? I just don't see it. I think I'm aft here. I mean, I can, I take this out with this guy. I think it's my, my, my only like. Let's just, yeah, let's. I just don't really have any other options here. But. So, we just need Alex and they win. They're fishing for the lethal. All we need to do is dodge lethal, chat. Just play the Alex. Play the Alex, dude. Dude, they're freaking keeping me in limbo here. Alright, we got two Felice Navidads coming up, chat. Did you forget? No, no, no. I just like it, it's very. It, the, I don't. The song is annoying. It's, it takes me out of my flow state switching songs. So, but we'll just play. We got, I think, three Fleece Navidads right now. So, I got it on loop. So, Wonder, do you, do you keep double nourish even though I kind of think I just keep one nourish because then my jerry rig suck all game if I take keep double nourish, you know? Ooh, my my uh, lack of greed or my greed pays off. Ooh, this hand though. This hand though. I want to be wait on this for another turn. This value trade is really nice. Um, just seems better than just hard ramping and my null shore nulling awkwardly in my hand, you know. Is there any good replacement for spammy? Ooh, maybe Blade Master. You kind of need spammy. 
Uh, like spammy's the. Uh, it's a tough one. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's it's a good clear. Ooh, I think I prefer Blade Master here. It just blocks their plays for a turn. Or do I? Ugh. Actually, let's just let's just play the good card. We drew the guff chat. All right, we can just win with guff guff style plays. Oh, they're this. I didn't even realize they were this. Wait, what? I'm getting jellyfished? Oh, that sucks, chat. Okay. I have the scale, but like... Oh, if I had played block minion, we had this game really easily. But I was like, they could just play around it with one of their nogglings, but... Chad... No, not the counter spell. Oh, that's so bad. All right, well. Yeah, I mean, it's unplayable. Like, I'm not even sure it's favored against us. Uh, this, this secret is so bad for us. Actually, this isn't that bad because we just go guff and do nothing for a turn. We proc the secret. Um, like, yeah, it's actually not bad. Counter spell? Um, well, wait, I could just double, double trade Siren here. Do I even want to do that? Like, I don't even know if I want to clear this off. Like, I can wait for them to clear it off. I can play a taunt. Wait, I, th I, I kind of. Uh, so it's Oasis Ally, Ice Barrier. It's probably Explosive Ruins, right? Uh, that rope's burning again. Was it? Damn it. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, I let them trade shit off here. It's really bad. It's really bad. Oh, I should Oh, God. Now they can play the 3 5. Oh, they could have just done this anyways. Okay. Oh, it's Ice Barrier. Okay. Well, you know what I think they could have done there is they could have pinged off their own minion and then pinged my minion and gotten the honorable kill there. I think that was the better line. But I think we're in a good spot now. Two, three. Freaking A, dude. There's my Anacondra. Um, what do I do?
can. I don't think I go alignment this game. I don't know though. Cause I lost my Anaconda. Wow, that's such a weak turn. This must be the way. I could just get Kaz down really fast. I don't know. I could also just throw these away. Double Park Panther. Seems kind of reasonable. The sea floor feeds all my You suck. Rope's burning again. The time has come to throw the last Is this dumb? This might have been dumb. Kind of playing into some pink shit. Yeah, playing this might have been a big mistake. I'm not sure. Mm, oh no, I'm dead. So bad. So bad. Wow, it's so bad. Fuck chat. I'm dead. I'm dead. Listen, is it because it was requested? Uh, I'm so dead. I, I can't. Win. Ah, I shouldn't even gone draw there. Ah, I'm just going to concede. I can't win here. Alright, we're done with the police Navidads for a little bit. Where's, where's the last song we were playing before that? Yeah. For doom hammers, I must protect the wild. Ah. Not good. Oh, this is so bad, right? Do I just accept it? Do I just accept the vulner that I'm going to get wrecked here? Like, the problem with going Moonlit is the only out I have is Druid. 
And I'm like denying myself a perfectly good wild growth play. All right. All right, dude, wreck me. Oh, that's not bad. That's not nearly as bad. They're all so good. I think I take the guff. Like, Lyman's not actually that good. Like Anaconda, so yeah, it's gotta be guff. Let's see. So I can go innervate raid boss next turn. And then, uh, then we have guff as our win condition. We just like we can just win with that. Right, this isn't bad. Not bad at all here. Just dealing some with some freezy boys, no big deal. They didn't have unlucky them. They don't have the murloc there. The murloc would have won. They could have gotten like twenty ta tack on board, but now I, I have the raid boss, and that's probably winning. <laughs> oh wait, I don't have enough mana to go raid boss. Chat, why is math so hard? <laughs> Chat, math should be illegal. That's all I'm saying. See if I draw the one in uh, thirty one here. Guff number two, let's go. Dude, easy as guff number two of my life, chat. Chat, I like half the time I just play this deck as like ramp druid with like like some Yeah. I'm the broom. Don't you ever forget? I think uh, having this amount of minions on board seems like a good number. So I killed one more off than I needed to here. Nature waits for no one but me. All right, they gave up. Dude, pocket train Dravel finals, dude. Pocket train Dravel finals. I just want to say both pocket train and Dravo, long term subs of this channel. Coincidence? Coincidence? I don't think so. <laughs>
in the same context, both are complicated combo decks, because nobody's actually done well with my, uh, my Warlock. So, okay, so here's the thing. How do we know a deck is good? One, we, we look at a large result of people, aka statistics, and see how well the deck is performing over that large sample size. Two, somebody does really well with it. Or you have, so if you have case studies. There are no case studies with Mind Warlock. It sucks. But now there's the first case study, so people, people will try to try it. <clears throat> Board Priest, uh, while the statistics have always been kind of bad, players who play it a ton have good results with it. Um, but, they, but that's like, like a very small percentage of players. But those players swear by it. So, and they like the deck a lot. So, Mind Warlock? No, I don't, Micaiah. But, I mean, it's not something that couldn't happen. I just would bet against it, you know? Chat, actual warrior? Actual warrior, maybe? Ah! Oh, overexplain game. Okay, so uh, I kept Anaconda because against Warrior, she's really good for the pop off. Um, I don't go uh, aquatic form or one or two. Uh, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to hero power here um, to deal damage to my opponent's face. Uh, so next turn, I've decided if I want to go aquatic form to look for wild growth. Uh, we could go look for that and ramp up to uh, miracle growth. Um, okay, it is it is. It is a rogue, so now we, we dr drastically change our game plan. So before, we, we could have done a chill, slow game plan, but now we're looking for uh, more ramp, more powerful things. So I'm going to go aquatic form here, see if I can get a good card. Um, this is interesting uh, in that... <clears throat> so it's interesting because Nourish is insane, but if we, draw, if we take Nourish, here's the problem. One, we don't draw it immediately. And two, if we ever get expired mer or, uh, merchant, it's going to suck. So we, Prince Renathal, we could play as a three mana, three, four, which to be honest, isn't terrible, but it's kind of terrible. So I'm just going to take a Moonlit Guidance and try to uh, hit uh, some like uh, uh, hand defining card. So like an alignment, uh, like this is what I would, probably one of the best things we could hit. Jerry Rick Carpenter. So now we can use this to draw our other Nourish. No need to coin it out. Uh, but we can go Coin Nourish and then Jerry Rick Carpenter. And then we have Scale the following turn to clear. <coughs> this is bad. Um, so in this spot, um, they almost always pick Spell. Um, so I'm going to go with the Ballsy play. Uh, because I'm going to assume they pick Spell. And I'm going to go with Smothering here. Um, bam. Silence. Now they can't do it. So uh, it's a very, very non-standard. Because even then I, I proc with Coin usually. So... They're doing, uh, they're doing spell there almost always. You know, people almost never bluff in that spot. But it looks like they're doing this again. But this time I have proc, uh, coin to proc, so we're fine. Um, and even though our opponent's being annoying, they're not really doing anything that strong here. So we have lots of time to chill and just like get to, get to, our, uh, get to our scale here. It'll be interesting if they choose minion here. Minion's actually the annoying choice. <laughs> Uh, interestingly enough, ooh, I could uh, okay. So I'm I'm good. I I could go the null here. It's a weird choice, um, but I'm gonna just assume spell here. Okay, they did do that, um, and then I'm going to gain two mana. Um, well, I could have gone something else. I think just getting that ramp gets you that extra mana for the rest of the game. And I could do a trade here, but I don't have any good value trades. Actually, let me think about this. I want to trade off my um, I want to trade off my starfish next turn. Why? Because I want to make room for scale. So I most likely play for next turn. So because of that, I intentionally want this to be lower in life and trade stuff off. So I'm gonna trade here.
All right, dude. Oh God, I love I love when my opponent just trades for no reason. Okay, so we have an interesting situation. Um, we're probably going scale, but we have this. Um, and if we don't hit Prince Renathal, there's a there's a two out of this chance we hit an alignment here. And we would love just to play alignment because then we would just win the turn next game. We did. We play the alignment with Anaconda. It's almost for sure a win if I have good enough APM. Um, so I'm gonna go alignment. And what's nice about alignment when you have null in hand, you get a zero mana null. Zero mana cards are good. So I play this uh, for zero mana. Cost me nothing. Now what's the one way I could get F here? Shadow step this. So I'm gonna kill that. Now I can't get F. Uh, it's only sometimes in life you want to get F. Most of the time you don't. Uh, so you can see here by doing this, uh, I avoid that. So I'm probably going Malgos here uh, off my Anaconda here, um, uh, I think. So yeah, so I'm going to go uh, Anaconda. Uh, I'm going to gain two mana. Um, I have to decide. Actually, I, I could go scale, but I think I'd rather. It's actually, uh, I'm so likely to hit Innervate, right? I'm really sad when I don't hit Innervate here. So, but I'm going to go scale here. Uh, I'm going to trade some off and then I'm going to go Malgos. Um, this is very likely to draw Innervate. Okay, I got it. Good. I'm trading shit off. We hit some Wild Gross. We hit some damagey boys. It's good times, chat, for the No Hands Gamers. Rampin'. Rampin'. Hand Space. Draw three. Gain armor. Zero mana, dude. Uh, play cards. Uh, draw three. Ooh. Play Guff. I could go alignment here, but that's I think that's a bait play. So um, I could go Alex Straza here, but the, the one play they have here that kind of Fs me is Scabs. So I'm just going to dump this card. Don't need this card. Bam. Now it's nice. Yeah, so... All right, they got the scabs, um, but we're fine. We have tons of life. Mm, this is annoying. Uh, do we have a spammy left in our deck? We do. So um, I would really love to hit spammy here uh, because it would give us a full clear. But I also could just take something simple. All right, we hit uh, raid boss, but raid boss is actually kind of annoying because if we play it, so we could play a bunch of other stuff first. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that and just take the raid boss here, but I'm not necessarily gonna play it. Um, so I'm gonna Alex my own face uh, here. I'm just gonna be super conservative here. Um, oh, I can, can I get a, yeah, I don't have the board space, unfortunately, to, um, so I'm going to draw a card here. Uh, let's see what we hit. We hit a Park Panther. So I'm just going to play some shit here. I'm going to play a Park Panther. I'm going to play a Taunty Boy. Um, and then I'm going to finally do the Raid Boss drawing me another Raid Boss. This is good enough. This is annoying. This is probably winning, you know? Um... We're all set up to go Kazakasan if we want to next turn, and we have a Malagos. Lots of good shit we can do. Uh, very tough for our opponent here. Dude, what's with these freaking stealthy boys? Like, come on. My opponent might not play anything, which, okay, they finally played something, okay. All right, um. How do they win here? It's tough. It's very tough for them. All right, so they're Yoling face. I agree with this play for them. Um, uh, it seems like the most likely play. They know I don't really have much burst in my deck, so.
Okay. Um, I think I just want to get Kaz down here. I think that's the way to go. This. Uh, I'm trying just taking high value treasure. Sorry, these turns get really complex. So it's I have to make decisions quickly. I'm just generally just taking high value stuff. Um, drawing a card here. I unfortunately don't have enough mana to play this. Um, but I think this is wait, which one's the rush one? Okay, this one's this one's the face one. We go face here. We're gonna trade here, we'll trade here. Dump this bad boy and let's just go this and win the game. So I make all my treasures cost one. Um, and I could even go like Malgos get guaranteed two books of the dead next turn. Like lots of win like lots of winning lines here, you know? This is very tough for them. And they dead. So So that is the overexplained game. What you're saying is you got lucky, yeah, 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 yeah. Protect the wild. <coughs> Slizzle, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. We are playing um, some good old standard uh, alignment druid. It's kind of like this weird hybrid of a uh, ramp and um, um, but yeah, it's, it's a fun one. But yeah. Welcome everybody. Hope you had a good stream.
Oof, it's rough. All right, um, I don't even know what I want to do here. I think I have Moonlit. This is tough because Miracle Girl is really good, but like, I can't not double Drew to the Reef here, right? I guess I can just hold the Drew to the Reef here. It doesn't, then allows me to go, yeah, five mana null next turn. 40 card, yeah. It's, uh, 40 cards is fun. Who knew? And 40 life is fun. And it's like, it's it, what's great about it is it's, uh, yeah. Thoughts on Wing Commander? Uh, if you, there's Trogs in the meta, it'd be great. But... <coughs> oh, that's bad. That's very bad. Um, am I F'd here, chat? I might be F. This is just a uh, four mana absorb some life. <clears throat> ah crap they played this before arcane overflow number two on this well that's not bad for us wait, wait what what is this nonsense oh they're pushing the face chat all right, here we go. Don't let me down, alignment. Not impressed. Ooh, that was a nice. That was a nice. It's a nice play by them. You gotta respect the plays, chat. Um. I need to have the flexibility on Nourish. I might go ramp and I might go um, not ramp. But. Alright. We're actually threading lethal. It's kind of interesting. <coughs> I know, right, dude? I thought it was a 2 6 taunt, dude. What is this nonsense? What are they doing here? What are you doing, dude? You got flame strike here. You got flame strike. Ah, shield shatter. You jerk. Oh no, that's actually. Wait, I can go. I can go silencey boy. Crap. Chad, if only I had disrespected the Okani, but if it's spell and I go draw there, it's game over, so. Dude, Earthen Scales did nothing wrong, chat. Alright, um, ooh. Got off the top, let's go, dude, let's go.
40 cards, by the way, I know, right? Hmm. Yeah. Perfect order. Kind of perfect. Maybe not absolute perfect. Shield shatter into this first. Good order though. But this is this five one one does shit, so it's fine. Well, that's interesting. They didn't want it. Which car? I really want to draw Malagos first. Before, okay. Oh, I drew him. Okay, okay. Now I could just go in on Nixia here. Like my deck isn't that good here. I do have like Moon Lip. I think I could just just I could just take the uh, Nixia play here. Crap. Ah, whatever. I thought I thought my innervate could get this down. 
This is probably fine. Keep your enemies close. I get all right. I have like a thousand. <clears throat> Wait, what? Wait, why are they doing this? Play doesn't actually make sense. Like they just kind of helped me here, right? Dude, pocket train? Dude, let's go. Dude, let me see. Dude, winning with the finishing with the board priest. Dude, the two big like biggest board priest players. We're like getting. Dude, not a coincidence, right? We both have another Contraband stash. Am I gonna get scammed here? Really? Wait, wrong trade? What are you talking about? The three health thing? Wait, wait, what did I do wrong? I rammed the Nixie into the 5-5. Five five. Into the one HP minion? It was? Oh, dude, it's getting late. All right. Wait, why was it a one HP minion? That doesn't make sense. Oh, shield shattered. Okay. Okay. Chat, I, I shows you I'm, I'm just not paying attention. All right. It's, it's, it's kind of bad, actually. All right. All right. I got I got the I got this dude ready. Oh, dude. Haha. <laughs> Wait, oh crap. Order lol. This is actually a good order for them. Wait, what? I'm fine, right? Chad, they dead.
But with dragons go for it. Is it an auto win versus quest freeze when Celestial Alignment goes in? I don't know. I hate that term auto win. Dude, people I, I just I despise the term auto win. Dude dude, everything's an auto win when you suck for your opponent or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and nothing's an auto win when you kick ass, all right? Yeah, well then they just like they just go tempo, dude. All right. Dude, it's like, dude, I Chad, I auto I auto won with your mom last night. <laughs> there was no losing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Chat one win from Legend, it'd be nice. All right. Do I take a uh, moonlit? I should probably keep Druid of the Reef for. Um... Most most powerful deck, dude. Sure. Ooh, this hando. Ooh, what is this? I didn't expect this. Ooh, Chad, I think I, I Park Panther's too insane here. It's kind of just winning. Like, it's so annoying for them. If I knew they were Naga Priest, I think I would have coined out the Wild Growth the previous turn, but I didn't, so. Chad, yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice clear of my minion there. It'd be a shame if someone had second part panther. Okay, I'm kind of just soloing him with Park Panthers here. It's pretty great. Wait, what? You a jerk? All right, well, that, that didn't last very long. You gotta be scrappy with scraps.
This is a free win against the deck that plays minions? Yeah, no. It's a very tough win. Just get that turn free win out of your vocabulary, all right? Dude, all right? Not the... As soon as we cast alignment, it's a good game. No, they just go the two mana guy and they play infinite spells. Pick me, pick me. Where do people come up with these free win ideas? Dude, that's true, Chris. <laughs> oh, they're full popping off here, but I have Nepalatoon, so I think I can deal with this. All right, after this song. No time. Oh, we wrecked this. Oh, man, this play was so weak. This play was so freaking weak, chat. Dude, Christmas in July. I didn't make it up, all right? Okay, we got two... We got... We got... Like, dude... The good people over at corporate came up with it, all right? Your Nepletoon's actually really good. He just doesn't fit in a 30 card deck. Dude, would have been actually, Chris. Would have been, but it would have actually been a free win for our opponent. <laughs> if our mouse didn't work, you know? <laughs> Am I about to get F'd here, chat? Wait, am I about to get F'd? Oh, I'm about to get F'd, aren't I? Not like this, chat. Okay, okay I'm not getting F'd. Alright, fine. No lethals. No nothing. Oh, dude, they're doing the bullshit play where you don't kill off my Neptune. Oh, wait, they're trading here? Oh, this trade is terrible, chat. Like, am I right? This trade is, seems so bad. Alright. Top deck skill here. Ooh, do I ever just do the alignment here, chat? Alignment might be the right play. All right, I'll take alignment, but I'm not necessarily gonna play it here. We'll go moonlit here, see if we can hit. Uh, I guess I can go three one here, then innervate alignment. That seems like a good play. Raid boss, I don't have the mana for. The sea floor feeds on
Freaking A, chat. This guy. Well, they might be waiting to use it after I go alignment, so. Oh, no. Chad, did they get there? Oh, God. Son of a gun. Wait, they only can play like one time here, right? All right, they're going all in here. I got the bless here. It's like game losing, right? And it conjures at the bottom of my deck. Oh, I guess I could have, um, uh, I actually had such a better play. See if I threw here. Silence wins. No silence. Fuck. I had to have thrown somewhere there. Uh, so I know who to ban, dude. Alright. <laughs> That's why I do it. Well, ramp double scale. Um, so what I actually missed the play is I had ramp into ramp into Malagos, and I, I had Anaconda at the bottom of my deck. So if I drew aquatic form, I could always got an Anaconda and popped off there. And that was probably the best play, and I, I missed it. So. Uh, I probably was, should have won there. Uh, with, I mean, with good play. Let's not, not like I deserve to win because, like, I, with good play, I think I always oh, won there. Oh, I see you brought guests.
more bones to gnaw on. For the wild. Bring the muscle and the magic. Pretty good for us. It's really good. She's so good. They're kind of aft here. I'm going to roll over them here. I go raid boss and we win the game. They have like, they're going to be so slow here. No one. Yeah. I kind of panicked there. Didn't know what I wanted to do.
Ah, dang it. <clears throat> Dang it, hit the good one. Damn. Oh, and it's freezing our minions. This is so bad. Okay, kill it. Kill, don't kill the 3 4. No! That's so unfortunate. Because, oh god, they're getting perfect stuff here. This is so bad. Okay, there we go. That's some luck. Yeah, it was very unlucky of them at the end. For them, so yeah. Can I just draw alignment? Or, or guff? I have all these shitty cards in my hand that I don't really want to play. Alright, here we go. No pyroblast, please. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Okay, that worked out really well. Didn't get a miracle growth here? Come on. So annoying. Um I think I'd rather have this. Seems better for me. Not sure about that. Hmm. 
Almost played into Varden here by uh, board locking myself, which I've been throwing. But I have the uh, I have the I have the smothering, so if they go Varden, I just smother for lethal. Is that legend? Ah, I need one more win shot. I like going almost like going alignment. It's always a weird, it's a weird uh, thing because in the in the bubble, that's the right play. It's better for next turn. You're more likely to win next turn. But you have to think of like okay, when they when they pull off some scam, which you have to try and figure out what the scam they're likely to play is. Me giving up eight mana, a good thing. It's hard because. Uh, uh, if you could like look at all the stuff and say, okay, Lyman always wins here, but because I've definitely had opponents who did it, like, yeah, but they they've already gone some brutal room, so I I don't I don't know if they actually have a play there, um, so yeah. Best competitive player, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, it's it's probably Gabby. Well, like who's had the best results, but. But there's like all these rising stars right now. Habu, Pocket Train, Fury Hunter has kind of been rising the last year. It, it just shows you like. You got to be on top of your shit. Like, dude, dude, nobody is safe. Nobody has like, oh, I'm just the best. Yeah. The EU youngins. <coughs> Dread is 18, by the way. Boomer, though. I'm not a boomer. Chat, boom, boomer here. Wow, the temple. Okay. Oh, that's not good.
Who's your favorite pro when I started playing? I don't know. I don't, uh... I think I like Pavel though, because I liked his catchphrases. Cause he had uh, he had uh, easy game, easy life. He always said that. I liked that one. I might need this. The board gets awkward. One. Did it? I don't think it did. I'm getting wrecked here. I have to go Deathwing here, I think. Oh, can I get away with scale? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I can't. I just have the death wing. Or I'm gonna... Ah, uh, I lost it. I wanted to keep Malagos there. This looks like a lost shot. Just can't get through this. Can't keep to get through this value push. I don't even don't have an out here, do I? Uh, let's see what's next. I can see. I guess I had silence. Oh, I guess I did have an out there. I could have silenced and uh, I shouldn't have given up there. I was still on it.
Malfurion versus Morgoth. I must protect the wild. Okay, this is a hand. Okay, this is the hand we get legend with. All right. This hand, though. Oh no, they're Murlocs. Uh, this isn't... Uh, Chad, this would be an auto-win hand against, like... I know I said never use the term auto-win, but... Uh, chat, I'm gonna get effed despite having the perfect hand. Son of a gun, chat. Feels. Triple buff, like, just wins here. Plus two, plus two to all. Okay, they don't have that. That's good. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. Seven, uh, shit, why is why do they have to have this perfect hand? How do I win here? What is my out? Do I even have an out? I feel like I have to hit um wait. I can lower their attack by ten by thirteen. It's still like a loss though. Like what do I want here? Spreading plague would be great here. That sucks. Chat perfect hand. Uh, chat, I just want to get legend. So I can go to bed. Chat, I can't go to bed, not a legend, all right? I feel like both times I uh... Malfurion versus Lady Vosh. Victory to Queen Azara. I must protect the wild. Ooh, this hand uh... All right, please don't be Murloc. Ah, ah, ah. I see you brought guests. Oh god, not again, chat. I'm going to lose again. To these Murlocky boys. Yeah, 
Yeah, look at this temple king here. I could hit like a, a good card off of this, like a... I think that's what I go for. How much effing damage this is doing to me. It's ridiculous. Good. Please don't be war leader number two. He trades. Wow. Thank you for not pushing seven damage. I, I, I really appreciate it. Like, I, I just want you to know, like, I'm very thankful for them not pushing seven damage. I know, right? Like they, like who cares about the war leader? Like, I mean, yeah, if our opponent gets second war leader, it sucks or, or anything. Yeah, defile would be not defile is no longer nice. Um, I uh, I think we have to go miracle growth and hope they can't get through it. Yeah, it seems like the only reasonable play. One three taunt, no, everything sucks. So let's hope this gets. Let's hope this gets there. My top deck innervate Neplatoon ever good? I don't know, not really. No war leader, please. Come on, Man, give me a chance. Die. No war later, please. Hold, dude, dude. We might actually. Okay. Yes. Wait, no. Oh no. Wait, did they just? I had to think that long to get the lethal on me. This sucks. Son of a gun, chat. Dude, I might just call it and I give up on the legend dream. It's 3.30 in the morning. I think, yeah, I, we're not going to get it tonight. I, I play more. <laughs> uh, yeah. You got me.